guys and welcome to a new GTK uh, window tutorial until now we saw how we create a window how to get its window type after we create it and we saw how uh, what was the story with the position and so on the title and then you saw that uh, you can decide if you need to hide the title bar or not and now it is time to move on the next thing which we are going to use it will be GTK window set, set default size. This is a function which uh, basically helps you to decide and to get the size, size for your window. That being said, uh, let me see where the set default size right here. And says so set the default size of a window. If the window is not natural natural size, it's request it's a size request. Sorry. Okay, let me do it again. <laughs> Set the default size of a window. If the window's uh, natural size is larger than the default, then the default will be ignored. More generally, if the default size does not obey the geometry hints of the window, I have an example here with the JTK window get uh, geometry hints and so on. And the default size will be clamped, clamped to the nearest parameter size. So basically, when um, I'm running the program right now, the window gets a default size, which in this case it is 200, 200. Now, uh, if you decide to give another size for your window, you can do it in two ways. The first one, it is uh, GTK window set default size where I'm going to I'm going to remove the title and all those things here because we don't need them anymore not for this example so the first one GTK window the first parameter it is GTK window wrong And the second will be width and height. So we are going to create them. I'm going to declare right here, Gin. And I'm going to say 250 and height of 400. Now we can pass those to variables like, like here I'm going to compile it and run it takes a little bit of time but as you can see we have a window with 250 and 400 height like we decide the, the size of the window you decided uh, basically uh, for the reasons of uh, what you uh, expect from your application when it's come about the size. Now there's another option which uh, you can use it and it is called GTK widget set size request. Here you only need to pass the window and then of course the width and uh, hey there's an important thing you you need to know about this too is that this function let me call another window another tab I already talked to you okay I hate when happens these kind of things when I'm searching something whatever I'm going to click on the widget itself uh, GTK widget and I'm going to search for it. Set size request. Right here. Uh, set size, not sorry. Where is it? I will find it in a moment. I wasn't supposed to talk to you about this but uh, why not 
because I already talked to you in the very first tutorial where is that function right now that's the get size request set side request right here and says sets the minimum size of the widget that is the widget size request will be at least width of uh, by height so you can use this function to force the widget to be larger than it normally will be in most cases the gtk window set default size is better choice for top level windows than this function setting the default size will still allow user to shrink the window setting the size required will force them to leave the window at least at the large size request so the difference is uh let me first run again the gtk window set uh default size which we decide to have it 200 200 and now watch i can make it bigger i can make it smaller you see this means i can do those changes which means i can make it smaller than 200 200 but in the case of uh set size request where you basically uh, work on the widget itself and not on the window which you created the story it is a little bit different now you have a window which has 200 200 by 200 you can make it bigger but watch you cannot resize it you see so this is the one main uh, difference between them uh those two okay we are going to talk about the gtk widget uh, basically when we are going to talk about this widget not today so we are going to stick today only to the gtk win those set default size because this is uh, for us important gtk window today and not gtk widget but i wanted to show you uh, the way it is now of course the next function uh, which uh, we are going to talk now it is the gtk window get default size which gets basically the default size which was setting it so uh, now I'm going to create uh, new things here get width and another one I'm going to call it get hey okay the get default size takes also three parameters gtk window window and of course it takes two pointers as you can see the width and height so this means we need to pass their address so the first one will be get width will be the first one and the second one with its uh, address operator we are going to get the height and now that we have them we can g print them with uh, or maybe I'm going to say the size of the window is percent D X percent D whatever get width and get oops hey and now you are going to see the size which you get it is the size which you set it which is 200 200 now of course i told you that it is uh, the default one so i'm going to change it to 350 250 just to be more clear now the size is bigger the window is bigger and also the size is was get but watch what happens if you are swapping these two calls i'm going to get the default size before i'm going to set it and then once that we get it uh, let me print it and then the same story goes again uh, we are going to get it again after we set it through through uh, g window set default size so basically we are getting the size we are printing it and then we are setting a new size which is uh, 350 250 once that we set it we get this size again just to be more clear and as you can see you get the size of the window as minus one minus one because this is the size uh, which uh, it is uh, saved but the default one is uh, 200 200 and then next to it says uh, is the 350 which uh, is the size you set it there is one very important thing which you need to remember i have printed two time that never and i mean never rely on a 
function where you get some information without checking this function if this function gets some default information which it's already set and it is the the and returns the 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 value or the values which you are expecting them or maybe you get uh, some values which are not the values which you are expecting because we know theoretical somewhere i don't know now to point you to a reference that the default size of a window is 200 200 and you see it uh, based on its size but if you get its default size without working with the set default size you see you get minus one one minus one so this is basically not what uh, bas uh, what probably you are expecting to have it like 200 200 that's what is very important this is a thing which i wanted to show you it's a thing which you uh, uh, needed to uh, which i needed uh, that you understand it okay that being said uh, let me mark them for as done and now i think it's enough we are going to proceed to the next video in the next video thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends neighbors and until next time see you guys